My name is Adrian Agagino, and I'm a research scientist with the University Affiliated Research Center at NASA Ames Research Center. I study multi-agent systems for NASA missions in terms of multi-robot missions, um, constellations of satellites, constellations of rovers, aeronautics controlling airplanes, more recently to Integrity robots. Tensegrity structures in robots are very interesting. There are these structures that are entirely composed of compression elements and tension elements, like cables and rods. And the cables never touch each other, and the rods never touch each other. And they have the unique property that they distribute force, unlike a traditional robot, where those are very rigid and forces are very centered. They can be very lightweight. They can go in trains where wheels really can't. They can move so they don't get stuck in mud or get stuck in dirt. They're also very collapsible, which is very important for packing for space missions. More importantly, they can be extremely robust. Since they distribute forces, they often don't break at a single point of failure. Multi-agent systems are so complex, it's actually hard to analyze them theoretically. So there's a lot of simulation, there's a lot of visualization on the computer to actually see what agents do. And there's a lot of testing of performance and algorithms to see how to actually coordinate multiple agents. I usually use evolution and reinforcement learning. An evolutionary algorithm which I'd use is very similar to evolution in nature. So you start with a whole population of control algorithms, and that initial population is low performance, it may even be random. And you get rid of bad performing members of that population, and you replicate the good performing members, and eventually you'll have a population that's full of very good performing members. Multi-agent systems are naturally complex distributed systems that align perfectly with tensegrities. So essentially, you have each agent at each location of a tensegrity, and by learning collectively as a whole, you can actually create a multi-agent system that will control a very complex tensegrity. I became interested in multi-agent systems in graduate school when my advisor said he had a former student who worked at NASA that was working at this fascinating project called multi-agent systems. So I immediately read all the papers and thought it was great and actually managed to get an internship at Ames. What really fascinates me about multi-agent systems is they have almost limitless possibility. You, know, you can almost think of the entire world, human population, or even biological existence as a multi-agent system. So they're very flexible, they have a lot of potential, and it's also just fascinating how very simple little components as a whole, when they combine as a multi-agent system, become this really complex system. Well, UARC combined with NASA is a great opportunity because NASA supplies very good real-world problems, but UARC gives me the flexibility of an academic researcher. So while most academics may deal with toy problems, most industry people may deal with real problems but no research, York allows me to do the combination of fundamental research but applied to very difficult real world problems. My advice for a student who wants to pursue a research career at NASA is to find something they're very passionate in and pursue that. And if you make a good argument for why this is a really good thing you want to do, you'll get lots of support and people allow you to pursue your passions.